Hi everybody, it's Danny Brussel. I'm coming to you from uh, beautiful, a little rainy, but beautiful uh, Carryville, Tennessee. It's right near Rocky Top, Tennessee. If you know the uh, the Tennessee uh, state song goes, Rocky Top, Tennessee. I'm right down the road from Rocky Top. Anyway, uh, I was at my hotel and reading, and I thought I wanted to share with you. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people they go into their hotel rooms or whenever there's some place, and they, the first thing they do is they they look for the remote control and they click on the uh, the television set and really if you really want your kid to become a reader and if you want to become a better reader you really need to make reading an actual habit and so let me give you some tips on how to make reading part of your day first of all here's the first step find a beautiful place like this you know it's gonna relax you uh, life's too short folks I, 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 like you can actually hear I think the, uh, the interstate there that's kind of annoying but you got this beautiful beautiful peaceful lake and the mountains and oh I just love breathing breathing in the air here I just smell the oxygen it's wonderful so that, that'll help feed your soul um, secondly look at this this is the coolest thing look at, look at these uh, these nice little uh, here's mine these little uh, benches uh, to uh, read on. So find a find a comfortable place to read, uh, like your favorite recliner or something, and then um, and then get yourself a beverage. So I got my uh, my water. Uh, I, I didn't bring my water bottle, so I had to use a plastic bottle. I've refilled this like four times. Uh, don't use so much plastic, folks. You you don't need to. It's a waste. Uh, and so uh, get yourself a nice beverage you know early in the morning I always get a nice big cup of coffee in the evening I'll get a different type of libation uh, when I read and then give yourself a really good book um, and so uh, this is meant to impress you this is a thick book I don't usually read really thick books I like small books but uh, uh, my friend my good friend Dave Billick sent me a copy of uh, of uh, Ron Chernow's beautiful book uh, Alexander Hamilton I mean I've been listening to the soundtrack for Hamilton if you haven't listened to the ham the uh, Hamilton uh, soundtrack you're crazy it's wonderful and uh, Ron Chernow I'm gonna read everything he's written he's just a really good uh, when you get a biographer that can write in such a great way you want to stick with him I love uh, Chernow now uh, I've, I've always loved Walter Isaacson David McCullough Doris Kearns Goodwin these are some of my my favorite biographers and uh, uh, find yourself a nice a nice long book is great if you really want to just take your time uh, I, I often hear people talking about speed reading and that's great don't get me wrong I think speed reading is great because there's a lot of information we're, we're living in the 21st 21st century and we're just inundated all the time and we need to learn how to read faster that's great but that kind of takes away from the uh, the wonder of reading the the beauty and the joy of reading sometimes it's good to spend a really lazy afternoon be on a really great long book so it's taken me taking me a little while to read this book uh, Hamilton really wonderful uh, wonderful read it's uh, man you think politics is nasty now you should have read when the founding fathers were around man that's crazy um, it never ceases to amaze me how uh, mean and uh, uh, petty people can be uh, let's think bigger got to think bigger and uh, more positively and so um, I, I don't want you to make reading into this chore is really my point reading should always be fun you know I, I'm reading a big book that's not well maybe it's a little bit meant to impress you uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm learning a lot reading this but that's not usually the kind of book I like to read I like to read short books uh, one of the things I do a lot of my friends know that I do this is before parties I'll go to the bookstore and I'll go to the children's book section and I'll read like 30 page biographies on famous people so I know some fun facts about people and places and events and things like that so uh, you know rather than becoming a speed reader you know just tell people yeah I read 10 books a day I mean a lot of them are scratch and sip and pop up but I do read 10 books a day uh, that's another way to be a speed reader and then don't don't uh, put down those kids books I, I think a lot of the most important messages come from children's literature I think uh, children's uh, literature often does not receive the uh, the due uh, attention and credit that it deserves so um, the point is make reading into a fun relaxing activity it doesn't have to be a chore you know a lot of people they after a long day they want to sit behind the television set and relax you know 
let's get rid of that habit. That's not helping you unless you're watching like PBS, that'll help you, uh, or a documentary, something that's gonna educate you. Uh, don't watch the news, it's negative all the time. Uh, watch, or if you're gonna watch something inspirational on TV, you can do that. Or if you're gonna turn the closed captioning on TV, at least you can read the closed captioning. But what I'd really like you to do is really make reading part of your routine. When you come home from work, you know, get yourself that beverage, get yourself that comfortable place, Put yourself in a relaxing atmosphere and get away from the world. You know, read, no I mean, I'm reading a biography, but you can read novels, fantasy, romance, mysteries, whatever. I got a friend who loves reading about serial killers. Heck, if that turns you on and relaxes you, do that. The point is, you gotta make, if you're gonna make reading into a habit, you gotta train your brain that this is a, a fun part of my day. So, uh, uh, hopefully that helps you. I'm, I'm so excited for all of you that have uh, chosen to join the Read Better in 67 Steps movement to, uh, to train kids why to read. We don't train people how to read, we train people why to read, how to make reading a lifelong obsession and a passion. So uh, I'm excited that you're on this journey with me and until next time I will see you soon.